guys, this is it. This is it, the 2021 Tesla Model 3 is here. If you didn't know, Tesla does not do model year announcements like any other manufacturer or OEM. They actually make a lot of enhancements to their vehicles throughout the year. And each year they actually release new model years kind of under the radar. Other OEMs standardize this. They release model years from 20 to 21, and they actually include features or standardize other features or even introduce new features every model year. For instance, heated seats might not be included last year, but might be included in the newer year as a feature. And they make this perfectly clear with announcements. A lot of people know about it beforehand, and they usually tell either their dealerships or they have documents that itemize all these different changes from year to year. Tesla is actually a little bit more sneaky and under the radar. They like to enhance or make small changes throughout the year and sometimes make bigger changes all at once. And it looks like that just happened for the new 2021 Tesla Model 3. I woke up early today because this news just landed and I wanted to go over all the different features that I found on the new 2021 Tesla Model 3. So in this video, I just got my coffee. I made it already, just poured it directly from the grocery store. Ah. So in this video, we're gonna go over the seven new features or changes that I found in the new 2021 Tesla Model 3. Thanks for watching another video guys. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I make videos about my experience with my Tesla Model 3 that I picked up a year ago and a little bit of personal finance videos like credit cards. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So the first one, and this is huge, is the range. We went from 310 miles of range to 353 miles of range on the long range version, which is more than 10%. In the performance version, we went from 298 miles of range to 310. The short range version went from 240 to 263 miles of range, which if I were to be honest, I wouldn't recommend the short range version at all, if you have any sort of long commutes. But 100% range is actually really good, but, but most Tesla owners know that you're never really supposed to charge to 100% on daily use, and you're really only supposed to charge about 80 to 90%. So for the short range version, that only gets you about 210 miles at 80%, and for the long range version, that's 280 to 310 miles from 80 to 90%, give or take, for daily use. The second thing new with the 2021 Tesla Model 3 are the wheels. For the 18 inch aero rims that come standard for the short range and long range version, they have a little bit of a rounded different finish. It's, it seems like it's a lighter gray, but it definitely looks a lot better and a lot flatter than the current aero rims. I really like them a lot. The new 19 inch rims have a little bit of a more rounded look on the center of each of the spoke. I actually don't really like them as much. I like the air rims a lot better for some reason. And lastly, the Uber turbines. I actually did not like them at all initially, but they look actually really good on the Tesla Model 3. And I can't wait to see some new car takeoffs for sale on the market in the next few months to see how much they'll be going for. I imagine they go for about two to 3,000 because that's how much the current Tesla Model 3 performance rims go for now. The third thing, which is a huge enhancement, is the power lift gate. If you don't know what a power lift gate is, it's basically an automatic trunk opener that opens your trunk without the use of your hands or anything else, and it can close it as well. A lot of people pay about $400 to $500 for this to be installed aftermarket, but this is fantastic that Tesla has included it in the Tesla Model 3 as standard. This is one feature I would really like, and it'll be interesting to see if we could get these parts retrofitted from the newer version onto the older versions. The fourth thing, which I don't necessarily like too much, and it's not much of a big change, is the center console. It kind of looks ugly and more like other OEMs and manufacturers in my opinion, so we'll skip this one and move on to the next one quickly. The fifth thing which makes the car look incredible is the black chrome delete. They've done this with the Model Y when it first released, and every single time I see a Model Y on the road, I think it looks fantastic. The Model 3 now, with the black chrome delete, makes it look sportier, and also chrome gets a lot of fingerprints, so the black really helps out a lot. It'll be interesting to see if we can get these parts retrofitted on older Model 3s because it will just make it look even better. Supposedly, I've heard that the trim is actually really easy to take off except for the back corner piece in the rear. The sixth thing is wireless charging is standard and the USB ports have been converted to USB-C. This is actually really great and it's really unfortunate for all the people that sell wireless chargers third party because now it's standard and there's really no market except older Model 3s and most of them I would think already have this feature because you can buy a charger pretty cheap on Amazon for about $20 to $30. And the seventh thing is speed. The Tesla Model 3 Performance and the Tesla Model 3 Long Range have gotten a little bit quicker with the performance at zero to 60 at 3.1 seconds and the long range version zero to 60 at 4.2 seconds. This is a small change because the Tesla Model 3 is already pretty quick compared to other cars in this same kind of price range. So it's really not that big of a change. And the best thing about all these different changes, enhancements, and new features is that they're all free. Tesla didn't raise the price at all for the Tesla Model 3 this year, 
and there's no price increase that I could find on the website yet. I say yet because Tesla is pretty known to increase prices either up or down pretty frequently. So if you're interested in a Tesla Model 3, I would lock in your order now. Current wait times is about five to nine weeks. And if you are interested in ordering a 2021 Tesla Model 3, watch my videos where you can try and get a discount on inventory or showroom vehicles. And also my referral code is down below in the description. We can both get a thousand free supercharger miles if you use my code. So yeah, those are all the changes that I found for the new 2021 Tesla Model 3. Please comment down below if you found anything that I missed or comment down below what you think of these new changes. I personally would love to get a new 2021 Tesla Model 3 because I really like the Chrome Delete even though I have it already, but I love a factory Chrome Delete. The power lift gate is pretty cool and pretty convenient and the Uber turbine wheels I think look fantastic and I think are worth it by itself. All right guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.